Hey you guys here Mark the Geek in this video I want to share with you guys a very cool Android app which is called Wi-Fi Mouse and what it is is a mouse that you could use with your Mac or PC. Uh, there's lots of apps that do the same thing on the App Store on the Google Play Store but I decided to get this one because of the reviews and all the features that it has are, are that are very very useful. Um, this is the pro version which is $2.99 when I got it and over here different from the pro version on the free version you just get this you just get the the normal mouse right here which is has a scrolling um, like a, imitating a scrolling uh, wheel over here you got right click you got left click over here got open there you would get this on the free one now from here you could use your keyboard to type your address or anything on the screen on your computer but on the pro version you get this option right here which is if you click on play it will automatically open iTunes if you're using um, a Mac computer and from there you could go ahead and play low volume skip tracks and everything if you click over here it will open your browser you click right there and it will automatically open your browser on your computer if you click right here it will also it has a presentation app like a powerpoint app if you click right there it will automatically open powerpoint in your computer and from here you can keep on um, working on your powerpoint on this uh, on the computer over here it has like a, this is like a multitask uh, it works very good on macbooks uh, you can switch between apps from here but this feature you're gonna see it on the computer you're not gonna see anything here and from the computer you just choose and over here you could go ahead and turn off your computer by clicking right there that's it um, if let me go ahead here if you go over here you can also adjust the mouse sensitivity and the scrolling sensitivity I recommend um, playing with that because that way you can adjust it to your likings I did have to adjust it I, I put it a little bit above half like you see right there because it works for me it might not work for you so go ahead and play with that so let's go ahead and click here let me exit the app and show you guys how do you set it up on your computer okay guys here I'm gonna show you guys how it works here on the MacBook Pro but keep in mind it works on any computer um, if you're one of those that like to connect your, your laptop or your computer to the TV or to a, a, a projector for presentations um, this will work for you doesn't matter but first uh, when you open this app for the first time it's gonna give you instructions on how to set it up you have to download a little 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 tiny app which is a server that goes on your PC or Mac um, you're gonna go on to this site it's gonna tell you right there nectar.us and from there you're gonna click right here and from right here you're gonna click mouse server there's mouse server for Windows mouse server for Mac and mouse servers for Ubuntu Linux all you gotta do in my case I would have to click mouse server for Mac in your case you might have to click mouse server for Windows and that's it once you open it up and set it up let me go ahead over here um, this you could go ahead and click OK it will take you here and from here when you open this app for the first time when you activate it this is gonna be right here in my case this is a Mac so it's up here uh, Windows it would be here in the bottom in your taskbar um, from right here you can see there's gonna be a blank space right there so the easiest way to do that is to click open here and right here you're gonna see your IP address when you see your IP address that IP address you're gonna enter it exactly how it sees it over there you can click it here and click connect once you click connect it should be totally connected so from here you could go ahead and start moving your finger and like you can see you can see the cursor moving in the screen you can go ahead and control your or your browser um, over here I put I was gonna turn off the computer here with the app but I click right there um, over here I could go ahead and if I click right here and I click right here it will Excuse automatically me. iTunes app needs your attention Okay, it says that iTunes app meets, needs my attention because I have my music um, stored on an external hard drive. That's why in your case it was just it would just open and you could go ahead and play your music from there. From here I could go ahead and close. So keep in mind, just imagine you're doing this on your presentation or something like that, or on your TV. Um, this click over here. If I click right here, it will open Safari. Like you see right there, and 
it open to your home page from here you could go ahead since I'm using Safari I could click right here open to top sites which looks very cool and I could click back and it takes me back should me okay I open a new tab that's why it won't take me back but over here let's say I want to type type something there I could use this right here and for example go ahead and click YouTube I click done uh, like that just very easy like you see I can use swipe typing with um, by typing on the browser which is awesome here in presentation when you click right here it will open your PowerPoint which is awesome and from there you could go ahead and open any PowerPoint and play and forward 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 you would use this like a uh, um, air mouse or something like that for your presentation which which is awesome if you're a teacher or doing some class type of classes that's that would be awesome if I click right here for example this is on the MacBook uh, it will show me the apps you see it's like multitasking and from here I could go ahead and choose something and play it and open it which is awesome um, if you slide it this way you're also going to see another keyboard uh, with this keyboard it's good to use it if you need to use like a combination keys like for example cap and four or uh, command and C uh, if you need combination um, entering you could use just like that or if you put it like that it will look normal um, here if you tap and hold it will automatically select the screen if you tap over here you can see right here I could go ahead and, and change desktop browser um, background from here I could go ahead and see just like that just like that very easy I go in here just like that right click and move to trash just like that very cool so like you can see this works very good keep in mind you have to be on your same Wi-Fi so if you're doing this at a school and you take your laptop and you take your notebook um, your cell phone uh, make sure you log into the same account Wi-Fi in the school your laptop and your cell phone must be connected to the same Wi-Fi other than that it doesn't matter how far you are from the computer it will work perfectly believe me it will work perfectly I used I used to use this a lot on my iPhone when I used to have my iPhone and this is a very good option click right here let's turn off the computer and voila and it will automatically turn off the computer now keep in mind once the computer turns off um, it's not gonna be able to turn it on because you have to turn it on your computer on yourself because this connects to the server on your computer so keep that in mind so that's it guys that was a look of air mouse yeah air mouse <laughs> yeah I got I'm a little bit confused because there's so many um, apps that do the same thing no this is Wi-Fi mouse so hope you guys like the video guys till next time